Welcome back to House Flipper 2. More of this. It's the game where we buy houses, renovate them, sort of, flip them for huge profits. I already have 4.3 million dollar dues. I don't know what currency this game uses. It never really specifies. Let's make even more. I've only got three houses left in this game and they all look huge oh my god i guess we'll do the cobblestone house this seems like the most expensive house in the game should i leave that to the end mm. no i'll go in order i'll go in order like i've been doing a beautiful fully furnished family house away from the city comes with four bedrooms 2.5 bathrooms and a gorgeous sunroom, perfect for everybody who wants to raise their children close to nature. The interior requires a small renovation after a heating installation failure. That seems like a euphemism for a fire. Yeah, okay. <laughs> seems like there was a fire. 500 grand? That's, that's nothing to me. I can piss away 500 grand and not notice it. I mean, from the outside, it looks lovely already. I don't know if there's that much I'm going to need to do here. Other than fixing up after the fire, I'll change some of the colors maybe, but like the decking looks nice. I'm gonna be quiet this recording session, or at least as quiet as I can manage in my quest over the course of this series and my life to be quieter and a bit more reserved. I will, uh, I will try and keep my voice lower. The main reason for that today is that I am not alone in the house. I generally, try to record for YouTube when I'm alone. So when my uh, partner, Emma, is at university or out of the house or something like that, I will go into my office and record for YouTube like a little YouTube goblin. Because for some reason, and this doesn't happen when streaming, when streaming, lots of people can be in the house, doesn't bother me whatsoever. When I'm recording locally and not talking to a chat or something, it feels humiliating. <laughs> I don't know if that's relatable or not. But it feels deeply embarrassing what I'm doing right now at this moment. Anytime somebody, like occasionally somebody will pass by in the background and I'll look over as if I've just been caught doing something disgusting. It's a mental block that I have. I'm not saying it's actually true that, it, that you should be ashamed of doing this. But maybe you should lightly be ashamed. It's like when... Everybody started doing podcasts a few years ago, and then even more so during the pandemic. Everybody started doing a podcast, and that probably should be shamed, <laughs> because at a certain point, there's enough podcasts. I'm not even saying that we've reached that point, but we might be close. I started listening to a new podcast, and it is actually relatively new for me. I tend to listen to the same like three podcasts over and over again. Because I, I only ever really listen to podcasts to go to sleep. Why would I need new ones? I'm barely paying attention in the first place. So I've listened, I would say, three or four times in a row to the same podcast recently. But I finally have gotten sick of it. <laughs> and so I've moved on to a new one. And I don't know if it's good. The, the problem is, is that it is quite funny. It's called Three Bean Salad. Right? And it has some British comedy people on it. But I think it's quite funny. But it's another one of those podcasts that basically does not have a format. It's just three guys having a chat. And they're funny guys, so the chats are fun and entertaining to listen to. However, maybe there's enough of that in the world. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I was skeptical about doing this. Is like, maybe there's enough similar sounding white men doing just meaningless chats on the internet. So I'm mixed about the podcast. <laughs> I, at, cer at a certain point, I, d I did like that sort of thing, and I do still like that sort of thing. At a certain point, I think I crave formats. I crave some sort of structure. It's why I occasionally try to have structured streams. Like, this is really my outlet for that kind of thing I've just described, where there is no structure to this. I'm literally just renovating a house. And occasionally the footage speeds up because I've run out of things to say. Speaking of which, I might just speed up the footage now just to show off that feature.
Sorry, I've come out of the montage for that because that's... Oh, that sent a shiver down my spine. Most of the outside done, at least that I can see, it wasn't actually that bad. Another reason that I'm trying to be a bit quieter today is because it's quite early in the morning when I'm recording this. I don't know why this is just the time I've decided I record uh, these videos. is early-ish in the morning. I mean, it's not that early. <laughs> it's like, it's probably like 10. It's not, it's not actually particularly early. It's early for me, maybe. <laughs> it's early for recording. This table is a bit trash. Can I remodel this or do I have to get rid of it? I can! Okay. You know what? Let's leave it like that for now. What about these? Uh, oh Christ, I don't know. Red, maybe? White or off-white look terrible. I kind of hate these chairs. And I don't mean these specific chairs in the game. I mean this type of chair in real life annoys me. I've got some. Everybody does. They, they just come with houses. They just grow out of the soil like weeds. It's hard to escape the omnipresence of this type of chair, but I've never liked them. I think they look cheap, and I don't think they're particularly comfortable. I don't know why I'm styling already, <laughs> but that looks kind of nice, right? Sit out here, have your breakfast, that sort of thing. I almost said breakfast in Irish there, which I hate when people do. There is a certain type of Irish person who interjects little Irish words and things, even if they don't speak Irish. I was about to do it. I mean, there is a reason. It's because I've been watching, against my will, I would like to point out before I say this, before you judge me, lots of interviews with Irish actors recently, because the internet is having a moment about Irish actors. It's, it's not a great moment, but <laughs> Irish actors seem to be the, the in crowd right now. You've got Killian Murphy, you've got Paul Meskell, Barry Keoghan, even the older ones like Colin Farrell and Liam Neeson, they're all a fast bender. People, people love Irish actors right now. They're so hot right now. I don't get it myself, to be honest, but I've seen a lot of uh, fetishization of the Irish recently, basically, and so it's in my head. Can I renovate these tables as well before I wander on about nothing again? Yeah, let's let's have these here. Copy style and just paste, paste, paste. Didn't didn't work at all. Cool, thanks. <laughs> just have it there. I don't really like this being here, to be honest, and I at least don't like it being not centralized. Like at least put it here. That's eh, a bit nicer. I like that more. I don't like this color either. We'll just do the outside basically and then see what see what happens. Is that like here? That's okay. I think I'd rather the benches be here, to be honest. This bench. Like, why is this... Why does this exist? Anyway, I've been seeing a lot of Irish people doing interviews. And it, it has made me more self-conscious of my accent again, to be totally honest. <laughs> because some of them... Like, I saw an old interview with Killian Murphy, and he sounded so cork. Like, he, he's really toned it down in the past few years. Probably, they probably wouldn't let him into Hollywood if he had a cork accent, because it's a really unpleasant accent. I've got a little bit of one. I think mine is getting stronger as I age, which I'm mixed about. <laughs> like, on one hand, I sort of resent the fact that my accent isn't as strong as it probably should be, right? Because I toned it down as a kid. So I'm like, oh, maybe I should have a stronger accent. Maybe that would be good. Don't know why I'm going so squeaky, but like, maybe it would be a good idea. Um, but then every time it slips out more, I I feel a shiver of revulsion, <laughs> and I go, no, <laughs> never mind, I was wrong. I don't need this shoe. Why is there so many fucking shoe benches in here? This room is entirely shoe bench. <laughs> Get, move this to the side at least. There's so many shoe benches. Why? At least again, have them a bit more spaced out. Maybe like that, and then this can go here, and then this can go a bit more down so you can actually see yourself in it. 
That's a little bit better. Okay, I'm fine with this cabinet room now. I'm not really. I don't know. It looks a bit weird, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe I have... Maybe I have three coat racks as well. This is a huge house, so... You know, it can have three coat racks. There we go. This is for guests. You know, I imagine... Just based on nothing. I imagine if you live in this house, you host dinner parties. I've never hosted a dinner party. My house is so small... I don't know if you could fit enough people in it to be considered a dinner party. <laughs> I only have two dining chairs. <laughs> I've got a I've got a large ish garden. I mean, this is I've got a small garden. As I was looking around this, I've got a small garden, but you know that has tables and chairs, so that's that's you know doable if it's sunny. The two weeks of the year it's sunny in Ireland. Not that I ever would host one, I guess, because <laughs> I don't really have many friends. I don't have many friends, and the friends I do have don't see very often in real life. I almost said IRL there, but I've been informed, reliably, by young people, that saying the words IRL makes you sound older than anyone has ever been. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually true, but from what I know... You're not supposed to say that anymore, <laughs> unless you want to be called a boomer. The worst one by far is meat space, because that just makes you sound old and corporate. Now, there's not too much fire damage in here. Like what, a fireplace exploded or something? This isn't too bad. I have a fireplace sitting right next to me in my office that I don't use very often, because it's, a, it's some effort. Like, you have to buy fuel for it. <laughs> like... When I was a kid, I was like, oh yeah, fireplaces are lovely. They're, they're a beautiful thing to have. And they are. They look very nice. But you do have to, like, buy wood or coal or whatever for peat. Do they still sell peat? I, I would say half the fires I've seen in Ireland um, are burning, like, logs of peat. But I, I think that might be outlawed now because we've destroyed our natural beauty. <laughs> because that's another very Irish thing is destroying our areas of natural beauty. We have no woods left. We have no peat bogs left. We're all fucked. <laughs> they're, they're really good for carbon catching as well. So it's even more grim. Let me just uh, adjust these a little bit because I don't like where they are. Like that. This is quite nice. This is a nice living room. I get, it, it might be a bit posh for me. Like I feel like if I walked in here, because I'm not, I didn't grow up like, poor, poor? <laughs> I did, in fact, I didn't even grow up poor. I think if saying I grew up poor would be an insult to people. Like, I know several people who would be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> How dare you even say that? I didn't grow up poor, but I didn't grow up rich. I grew up kind of lower middle class, I would say. And I feel like this is the kind of house where I'd walk in and they would instantly look down on me <laughs> and go, hmm, you don't quite fit in this area, do you? It's like going to the opera. Although that's something I resent as well, even though more than my accent. Poshification of theatre. I guess the opera's always been posh, but theatre wasn't. I've been meaning to see more plays for that reason. The problem is, is that it's, it is kind of a, a production, right, to go see a play. <laughs> like, it's a little bit more expensive than a movie. It can be a bit awkward seeing live stuff. I'd probably enjoy it. I've been meaning to. Also, I've only just noticed, by the way, all the ivy in here. This is staying. This is fucking rocks. Look at all this ivy! I don't care what the owners want. This is amazing. I'm, I'm gonna say this is like, you know, grown specifically for this purpose, ivy. Because it's amazing. This is really lovely. We are changing... We're keeping some of the kitchen, we'll have to switch out this oven, but like, we're changing the colours and we're changing that backsplash tile to something that isn't as hideous. Was I even saying? Sorry, I, I feel like I'm being even more scattered than usual in here. Oh yeah, the, the theatre. I love Shakespeare, right? I haven't even read that much Shakespeare, but I really like what I've read. I think Shakespeare is fantastic. And it's always annoyed me that Shakespeare has become... And it, it's been like this for hundreds of years, obviously. But that Shakespeare has become this elite thing that you're only supposed to enjoy if you're posh enough and well-read enough and educated enough to understand it. When that was not a thing up until 
I guess the Victorians? It's probably the Victorians. Everything bad is the Victorians. The more you read history, and I'm not like a massive history buff, but my partner is. Every time you read anything about history, it, it really does come down to the Victorians were scum. <laughs> the Victorians were horrible freaks who hated everything. Like, they censored a lot of Shakespeare and also made it a posh thing. It's like, Shakespeare was for the masses. Shakespeare was just a cool guy who made some blockbuster stuff. And also, artistic, intelligent, timeless art. But a lot of it is also, like, fight scenes and blood and everybody dying and <laughs> sex jokes, right? That is, that is a huge part of Shakespeare. They cut a lot of that out. It's restored now, if you read Shakespeare. Um and made it like a thing that only poshos are supposed to like and it really annoys me like more than it should even it annoys me like it, it genuinely pisses me off when i think about that that i remember i saw a clip a production of 12th night it was on youtube i just watched a bit of 12th night and uh it looked incredible it was at the globe theater and everybody was like in t-shirts and jeans in standing room you know it was a, an all-male cast like it would have been when Shakespeare was writing it. It was it was really, really funny and entertaining. And it looked so casual and sort of working class, I guess is the, the term I'm looking for. Like, everybody, no, nobody there looked like they were dressed up for a theatre performance or anything like that. And it really made me think that that should be the norm. And I'm sure if you're actually in theatre, it probably is a bit more like that than I think. It probably isn't as uh, exclusive as maybe the image of it is. But the fact that there is that image always put me off theatre. And it's why kids, I think, don't like Shakespeare very much. It's like, oh, it's it's Shakespeare. It's all arty and posh. Whereas when I read Shakespeare as a kid in uh, English class, I was like, oh, this is amazing. I, I read Macbeth and was like, this fucking slaps or whatever the children say now. What cabinet is this, by the way? Before I get lost. Cabinet crane. So we want an oven that fits in with crane. Just Let's just do the kitchen. It doesn't actually look like there's much to do in this house, which is, to be honest, a nice break. The last few houses we've done have been, and putting it nicely, completely fucked. <laughs> like they've been ruined. Every room looks like it's been occupied by meth-dealing raccoons. Whereas in this one, it's actually quite nice. I don't like the light fittings. I'm gonna replace the light fittings. I'm gonna probably repaint some stuff. Like, I don't really like this being blue, but some of this can be blue. Maybe I'll just leave it. I don't know. The floors are nice. I d Ugh. Kitchen's a bit of a mess. I might make it a lighter green and change the colors here because I don't like the cabinet style very much. Like, that's nicer, I think, for instance. But I don't, even then, I'd like maybe grey granite or grey marble. Ooh, that's very pretty. Let's say, what handles? What are the fanciest handles? Potion seller. I require your fanciest handles. I guess all of that little weird rent was meant to say that um, I'm not posh and resent posh things. <laughs> not bitter at all about anything. Uh, I think that's a bit nicer. I think maybe then the tile should be a bit lighter? Because the tile is a bit dark as well. Not on the floor. I think the floor tile is actually fine. I'm I'm treating this like I was actually flipping a house. Which is to say, I want to keep as much of it, you know, normal as, as, as I can. I don't really like the ornate tiles is the thing. Like this. I think it's a bit... I don't know... It's a bit old. It's a bit old and gross, right? Green marble might be nice. Can I lighten it up a bit? No. Eh, maybe not then. <laughs> Colourful triangle tiles? That's a bit of a nightmare. Maybe grey marble, but we make it green. Right? Like a lighter green. Like a... Like that. Oh, look at that. That's very pretty. I think that's perfectly nice. I'm happy with that. Is this called a backsplash? I've always called it a backsplash, but I'm not 100% sure that's what it's actually called. I think it also goes up here a bit. Yeah, I think that's, that's nice. In fact, I'm going to put it all the way up here as well. Yeah, that's too much, isn't it? <laughs> okay, one second. Let me get the paint. 
uh, or early on we've gotten into decorator talk, but like, maybe everything shouldn't be green. Do I want to repaint at all? Anything need repainting here? I think it's kind of fine. I think it's okay. I think it is perfectly nice. I'm gonna move this a little bit, move this up, move this here. I know it's kind of intentionally a bit off-center and messy, but I'm not a huge fan. You know what? I'm going to leave it. I think this is going to be a nice minimalistic one. I've gone louder again, by the way. I, I recognize that. As the, as the video's gone on, I've gone a bit louder. This always happens. I've noticed this when I'm editing, because I do edit these. I know it doesn't look like it, but I am editing cut consistently. <laughs>。You know what the thing I do most is when I edit these is cut out. Uh, ums, ahs, yawns, which I'm doing right now, and little hissing no noises that I've learned I make. Like, in between sentences, I'll go, a lot of men are going to suck air through my teeth. I think it's just because my teeth are a bit fucked. I think this house, I, I should check the upstairs, because that might be the real fucked area, but I think this house is going to be more about decoration and posing than it is about renovation, which is nice. I think I'm going to knock through this, by the way. No, I'm not. I'm not going to knock through this. It's nice to have a pantry. I've never had a pantry. Because I I don't come from Edwardian England. <laughs> I, I, I think I said actually a joke very similar to that recently on stream. And a few people were like, what are you talking about? I have a pantry. And I was like, they exist still? You can get a house with a pantry? I thought that was like ancient. Like, I didn't think that still was a thing that existed. But apparently it is. Who knew? Probably lots of people. <laughs> I'm ignorant. I'm, at this point, famously ignorant. <laughs> I'm just gonna adjust these drawers, by the way. I'm, go I'm definitely gonna cut through this. Okay, I've come out of the speed up. That I spent a bafflingly long time doing that. I don't even know why. I normally don't even do that in these innovations. <laughs> I've just decided I'm gonna give them a well-stocked pantry, because I don't have that in my house. Seems nice. Oh, we've got a formal dining room. We've got like a little baby dining area here for like your bits, your everyday bits. You know, like, oh, I'm just gonna have some cereal or something. You sit here. But then in here, you've got your big boy dining room, where you have your dinner parties, your sordid, sexually charged dinner parties, where you all wear Venetian masks and beat each other with cactuses. What do rich people do? <laughs> all right, I, I haven't even finished Eyes Wide Shut, but that's apparently my view of rich people. 
I think if you're rich, you probably look at this house and go like, oh, this isn't a rich house. But to me, it's a rich house. <laughs> so it's a rich house. Time just, I'm just doing some decoration. This is really just decoration and cleaning. It's, it's honestly a lovely excuse to just walk around and talk about decoration and whatever else is on my mind. This is just on the verge of being too busy. It's on the verge of being too much for me. Like, I like the plain white ceilings and the little strip around the top. It looks well, well decorated. You know? Although it has obviously been left for a while. I don't like this carpet and I don't like this table. Saying that, I'm going to change this the, the tablecloth to be a bit more plain. A bit brighter. Th this carpet as well, like, this is awful. <laughs> can I change this forever? <laughs> Hang on. How do I... What colour can I get this? Uh, let's make it immediately... A, more smooth and less fluffy because that would be a nightmare to clean make this a bit brighter as well maybe even like a oh i don't know maybe like a maybe like a faded gray oh god i don't oh no not pure color how do i how do i fuck this up every time right <laughs> whatever okay revert i click one of these colors and i can change it but if i ever click aside to, like, make the colours richer or more faded. It fucks up. So, maybe just, like, a lighter green? Oh, I don't know. Look at that's a nicer carpet. I know that my decisions there amounted to going, <laughs> and then hoping it worked out. <laughs> but I think that's nice. I think this is nice as well. That's a nice... Uh, like, maybe we match it. Maybe we match it to the, to the right colours. Like... Is that too weird looking? It's a bit weird looking. <laughs> Maybe it's fine, but... <laughs> Maybe the tablecloth should be darker. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. Maybe that's fine. <laughs> These chairs are actually surprisingly simple. But that's the thing about fancy people, isn't it? That you have to remember. When you're fancy, a lot of your stuff is a little bit more understated. It's the nouveau riche and the... the you know, the, the pretenders. They're the ones who put everything, like, maximalist and techy. If you're properly rich, you have fairly simple stuff that lasts forever. Like, if you're old money rich. That's that's something to keep in mind. <laughs> if, if that's the vibe we want to be going for. That's fine. I like that. You even have a cock chair. A free cock chair. Every dining room has to have one. Like I said, sordid sex games are going to go on in here. Maybe not sorted, maybe just regular sex games. I'm not saying all sex games are sorted. That would be weird. I imagine if you're rich, you get bored and you just start doing weirder and weirder shit, right? It's one of the reasons I don't want to be rich. <laughs> My partner always says I'm insane for saying that. Because she always asks me, like, what would you do with, like, unlimited money? And my response is always along the lines of, eh, probably just the same as now, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> like, I'm unbelievably boring. <laughs> I think it would literally just be like, eh, I'll just kind of keep going as I do. I've never really particularly been interested in that kind of, uh, that kind of wealth. Which, I'm not, uh, when I say that, I occasionally, not always, but I occasionally get a response that's kind of like, what, you think you're better than me? <laughs> And I really don't mean that. It just doesn't appeal to me personally. Like, I can't really see a point in being very rich. And when I say very rich, I mean like, you know, like Elon Musk rich or something like that. I can get the appeal of having like a million euro. You know, that's like a conceivable amount of money to me. I can conceive of what that would do, what it would look like in my life, you know, all that. But when it gets bigger than that, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> I don't know who I'd become. <laughs> I think I wouldn't want a billion dollars. No, number one, I think that having that much money makes you inherently a little evil. And number two, I just genuinely don't know how I would manage to spend all that money. I inevitably, no matter how hard I tried, I would die with a fuck ton of money left. <laughs> and that just seems irresponsible. Like, what? where's that money going? Just, like into the ether or passed on to like relatives or something like that that doesn't seem great for anybody really except the relatives but i don't i'm not gonna have any children or anything what was i talking about hang on <laughs> we've got uh, another plant here do i want a hanging plant yes i do want a hanging plant i've decided i think that's nice 
I'm going to leave that there. We're going to have... I don't know if I want these plant pots at the bottom, but I might have a couple of hanging lamps, actually. Not lamps. Um, whatever these are. <laughs> Plants, that's it. I might get rid of these ones on the bottom. Okay, because I feel like I'd trip over them. I'm a clumsy-ish person. I didn't used to consider myself clumsy, and as I'm getting older, I think I am clumsy. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think I'm aging really badly, <laughs> just in general, to be honest. I think in terms of looks, I am aging horribly. Uh, oh my god, I look older than I am. And I, I really do mean that. I look horrible. There's a reason the camera isn't on for YouTube. If you, you have to be on Twitch if you want to be subjected to that nightmare. Why does this door not match? I don't like that. I want all the doors to match. Is this like a back door? No, it's a horrible office, which is fish-themed. I'm getting rid of all of this. Sorry, I'll leave most of this, but uh, no, no fish-themed rooms, please. I hate that shit so much. It offends me. Number one, I am vegan. And I know it's insufferable to say, but I don't like the idea of having fish corpses up. <laughs> Number two... I I have always, always in my life lived next to the sea, and I am so over it. <laughs> I I really, the next place I live is gonna be nowhere fucking near the coast. I can just tell you that now. <laughs> if I get the opportunity to, to move in the next few years, which I'm hoping I do, it is going to be inland and next to some woods. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? If it was next to some woodland instead of a fucking beach. <laughs> I hate the beach. I, I like parts of the beach. I'm being too cruel. <laughs> I like parts of the beach. I don't like the sort of styling that everybody has. You know, if you live in a seaside town, you will see lots of this stuff. Like fishes on walls. You'll see lots of fish wallpaper. A lot of lighthouses on windowsills. That kind of thing. Never liked any of that. But I do like swimming in the sea. In fact, it's the only time I like swimming. Because I don't like swimming in a pool. And the re- <laughs> Okay, the reason I don't like swimming in a pool, and this always upsets people when I say it, and I, I always preface it by saying, I genuinely do not know if this is true or just something that was told to me, and I just accepted it. I was told once, the smell of chlorine in a pool. You know, that smell you associate with swimming pools, that really strong chlorine-y smell. That that is not chlorine, because chlorine doesn't have a smell. What that smell actually is, is uh, the smell chlorine has when it interacts with bodily fluids. So, you know, sweat and piss, <laughs> basically, is what it comes down to. And... That upset me so much as a kid that it put me off pools forever. But in general, I, even even without that, I just like swimming in the sea more. It feels a bit more nice and open and... Can I restore this desk? No, I'll have to get, sell the desk. No! Well, whatever. Sell. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'll sell this chair as well because it's a bit naff. That's a word I never say. Can I restore this as either? Oh, I'd love to. Nope, we're gonna have to sell this as well. Ooh, all the stuff. Ooh. Okay, let's, let's quickly sell this off. Might be cozier with a carpet. You know, if this is meant to be an office, you might want a sort of cozy vibe in an office. So you might want a, a, a carpet of some sort. I might get like a smaller carpet instead of a floor length carpet. Because I think those are a bit... Eh, don't really like it. You know what? I'm going to keep this one. Because I actually quite like the the ruggedness of it. I think it's quite nice. I'll keep these vases as well. Just so I don't have to buy more vases. I just know that there's some there. Right. Desk. We want a corner desk. Corner desk, please. Where are those? It's kind of forcing a new way of doing this onto it. Where I'm, I'm doing it very much room by room. Which is nice. 3,700 euro! Oh my god! Ugh, big stretch. The desk I'm sitting at right now... Also, I'm glad I don't have the camera on right now. Because I'm sitting at my desk wrapped in a blanket like a pensioner. Uh, because it's quite cold and I neglected to buy heating. Because I thought, eh, it'll get warmer soon. It hasn't gotten warmer. Oh, why can't I put this back? Oh, you better let me put this back. 
Why won't it let me put this there? Why won't it let me go, like, any further back here? Come on. I can't put it in this corner. That's really, really annoying. <laughs> Hang on, can I? Oh, that's about where it was, I think. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. I can I can basically just recreate this. I, I could wear a dressing gown. I'm not even... The, the thing is, and I recognize this is stupid, I'm also not wearing socks. <laughs> like, I'm wearing a blanket, but with no socks. <laughs> Which really seems like... The worst of both worlds. <laughs> but I don't... I resent wearing socks. I don't like it. Horrible foot chat about to happen, by the way, if you're put off by that sort of thing. Which I know a lot of people are. I don't like this table anymore. I've decided to get rid of everything. Um, horrible foot chat is about to occur. I, I don't wear socks very often. I don't wear shoes very often. I like being barefoot. And as a result, my feet are like blocks. Frequently, my partner will ask me if I'm wearing shoes in bed because she thinks that my soles are as hard as rubber. <laughs> and that has benefits, right? It means that I can walk around free of obstruction when I'm out in the garden. Like, I can walk over gravel. I can walk over small rocks and bits and pieces. I could probably step on some glass and not really feel it. The problem, though, is what's happened recently, and I promise this is the last time I'll bring it up for a while. It's just been on my mind because it's, it's uh, annoying. The skin on my soul is now so hard that it has cracked open <laughs> and formed a sort of wound. <laughs> it's mostly healed, mostly right now, but uh, for a while it was quite sore. <laughs> There's just like an open wound on my foot, and I was just sort of gently uh, applying um, what's it called? Ointment? No, antiseptic. That's the word I'm looking for. Antiseptic. What's the nicest bookcase, by the way? Can I sort by price? I don't think there's a way to sort by price here. We want... This is kind of a nice house, you know? It's kind of a fancy, old-timey house. We want something like this, I think. What What are you? You are Segovia. We want a Segovia bookcase, maybe. Segovia, 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 where's Segovia? We have dressers, we have bookcases, we have nightstands. Give me another Segovia bookcase. We'll recolor it as well, I think that'll be nice. Can I open this? Yes, I can, just about. So yeah, Segovia bookcase, maybe Segovia dresser as well. Maybe a smaller one, like that, can go right there. I think that's good and nice and well put together. Maybe, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of this. I've decided, and this. And I'm going to get a Segovia nightstand instead of what was there. This is going to be a slightly fancier room when I'm done with it, because it's awful. I get green leather. There we go. That'll be a bit nicer. What was I saying? Oh yeah, fucked up feet. <laughs> That's about all you need to know. Also, I should probably go to a doctor about the whole open wound on foot thing. But I'm not going to. <laughs> I've... I've said to Emma, my partner, that I would. I'm not going to, <laughs> because I don't... I don't really like going to the doctor very much. It's not a fear of the doctor or anything as meaningful or, or, like, understandable as that. I'm just very lazy, and it takes a while to go to the doctor. I'd have to go there. <laughs> it would just be annoying, so I'm not going to. <laughs> What's going to happen is I'm going to live with it, and it'll either infect itself, and I will have to go to a doctor, or I'll just get over it, and it'll be fine. Copy there and there. Oh, it's a bit orange, isn't it? Hang on, I might restyle all of this. This is the most I'm doing in this in this uh, area, because I think this room is a bit gross, to be honest. Don't really like it. Now we need to get rid of the fucking... I can keep the blue. Get rid of that wallpaper, for the love of Christ. I'm sick of looking at it. What's a nice... The, the honeycomb wallpaper. It's nice, fairly understated. Let's change the colours a bit. Maybe a, a very pale blue. And a very slightly less pale blue, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Colour three, that's the one we're looking for. Maybe like a... Like that, maybe. And then maybe this a bit more faded like that. I think that's kind of nice. Yeah, I think that'll do. It's just nicer than what was there before, right?
I, my desk, by the way, I love my desk. Speaking of expensive desks, my desk was not expensive. These, this is a rich person desk. And even for rich people, I feel like you're being fleeced. Like, this is not... I don't like the wallpaper anymore, by the way. <laughs> I want it a bit darker. Maybe I'll make it bigger as well. Oh, I'm really fucking this one up. <laughs> my desk was, um, 200 maybe? Max? I think it was about 200 euro, and it's the best desk I've ever had. I really love it. It's one of those adjustable desks, so it goes from sitting to standing. And I fully thought, when I got it, I was like, okay, this is a novelty. I'm aware it's a novelty. However, I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna endeavor to stand more, because I think it's probably better for you. I know that the jury's out on whether standing desks are actually better for you or not, but I was like, I may, I may as well. I kind of like standing up. I've actually used it way more than I thought I would. This standing desk is probably 45% of the time, or maybe even more, maybe like 50% of the time, I am standing at my desk. I'm not standing right now, it's too early, <laughs> but every stream I do I stand at. That's great, I really love it. It's fantastic. I don't know why my voice has gone all high, as if I'm trying to justify it. Do I want a computer here, or is this going to be like... You know, is this going to be like Christopher Nolan's house? A well-to-do, posh, privately educated man's house who doesn't truck with that technology stuff. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Christopher Nolan does not, I believe, own a computer <laughs> or a smartphone. Which makes sense. There's a landline here. Are you fucking joking? So yeah, no smartphones. So I'm going to say there's no... If I could find a typewriter. Is there a typewriter? I don't think I mentioned it. There has been an update to this game that I installed called the Spring Update. And unfortunately, they have not added any new houses, which I was disappointed in. But they have added new items, like new cabinets and lights and stuff like that. Which, let's be honest, I don't care about at all. <laughs> this is completely meaningless to me. Do I want the ultra posh lights, like the Falco lights? These are unbelievably posh. Or do I want the slightly less posh bullfinch lights? I think these are more in keeping with the, uh, the decor. These are too fancy. Maybe that one's okay, but, like, this one and this one are too, like, again, nouveau riche. These are, these are more tasteful, I guess. <laughs> That's the word. So, yeah, this person here, they don't need anything like that. They don't need technology. They've got a a book and a pad and a pen and they could write all their scripts there. Yeah, you know what? This is Christopher Nolan's house I've decided. I've never seen what Christopher Nolan's house looks like. I'm not a freak. <laughs> Sorry if you do know what it does look like. <laughs> that might be a bit harsh. If you know what the inside of a celebrity's house looks like, I, I'm probably a little bit frightened of you. <laughs> Ooh, this is hideous. Where did that come from? This is new. <laughs> That's awful. Uh, give me just this one. It's a bit more understated. There we go. I think this room is done. I think it's fine. We could put up some new... I might put up some books and decorations at the end, but other than that, I think we're good. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, I should put up lights as I'm going, right? Uh, fine. This one will be the proper, like, chandelier-sized one. Put it there. Yeah, that looks about right. And then maybe here as well. Hang on. <laughs> I need to line these up. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll annoy me to death. Uh, where's the laser? The laser is there. Is it lined up? And then maybe a smaller one? Don't know why I'm doing that questioning voice. I'm the one making the decisions. Like a smaller one, like right here. Just so you get the full coverage. They don't have a television here. You know what? They don't need one. They probably have one upstairs or... Ooh, that is a bad bathroom, but okay. <laughs> Didn't even know it. I thought I was gonna see like a Hoover. Oh, we have a maid, darling. We don't. We don't use a Hoover. We use a, a maid. I don't know what she does. Probably licks up the dirt. You know what paws are like. I'm sorry, I have a, a dim view of the people living here. Apparently. <laughs> there we go. That's nice and bright. Looks perfect. Good stuff. Did I do lighting here? I think I'm gonna keep this light here. Oh, it's a bit low, isn't it? Replace it with just like a standard one of these. Perfect. Again, lovely. They have a lamp. What more could you ask for? I'm gonna replace this. I'm gonna put this over here for now. I might do some more decoration at the end, because I'm in a kind of decorative mood. 
this is fine for now. This light can stay, actually. I think this light looks nice for a kitchen. Oh, this kitchen is beautiful. I'm not changing the color, I've decided. Look how nice this kitchen looks. It's so good. It's such a beautiful kitchen. I don't like the color of this hood. Can I change that to, like, even, like, a white? There we go. Now oh, it's beautiful. Same with this fridge, actually. I also don't like the fridge. Beautiful. <laughs> Every time I go in there, I will find something new to complain of it. You know what? It's not done. I need a chair and a carpet in here. So, fancy chair, please. Like, this isn't even, like, an off... Like, there, like, a fancy chair. Mm, that might be too fancy. <laughs> you know what? I don't even think you use an office chair in here. I think you use, like, a... Like, a Caliban. I think it's it's one of these kind of chairs. Or, an, what a fucking hell, that's expensive. <laughs> Like that color, like some green to offset the blue. Oh, that's nice. That's that's tasteful, that is. What's a nice carpet for in here? This is big, right? That's big enough. That's that's nice. I like that. And maybe have it like here. Perfect. Done. Room finished. Next Bathroom. Honestly, again, I don't know if there's much to change here other than cleaning it up so it's not rancid. I don't know about the spotlight. I don't know if I would want to feel like I'm in a police chase while I'm defecating. I've mentioned this in a previous episode, bizarrely. I don't know why I've mentioned this in a previous episode. I consider it a source of shame that I have to use the bathroom at all and would rather nobody was aware. If there was no lights in here, I think it would be fine. Oh, this is a disaster of a room. Hang on. Look at the layout. Oh, you can barely fit through here. I hate it. <laughs> I hate this room so much. This cabinet is not that nice either. <sighs> Doesn't really get nicer though, does it? <laughs> maybe... Maybe we just change the... Make the color... Not as grim. And the faucet can be like... Send blood, chrome, steel, steel. I think you get rid of this, to be honest. I think this is unneeded. If this is like a secondary bathroom, like this is not the main bathroom, obviously. If this was the main bathroom, you would not live here. No matter how rich you were, no matter how many servants you have to take care of those needs for you, you would not live here. <laughs> you don't need, like, you don't need that much storage in a secondary bathroom. Then put this light on top, was it? Yeah, okay, that's that's sort of fine. I think that's okay. I think I've improved it. Not by much, but I have improved things. Toilet's fine. What toilet are you? Can I get a more expensive toilet? That's toilet cozy. Cozy toilet. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. I like guess because it sounded to me like it was Italian. What's a more expensive toilet? The Baleno is more expensive, but is it as nice? The Favara is also more expensive, but is the sort of toilet that you would exclusively find in a sex pervert's house? I think Koozie's fine. I think it's just a standard, normal toilet. It's alright. Other than that, honestly, I think this room's done. Like, what, what else do you need in here? Maybe... Okay, you know what you need? A toilet paper holder, which you don't have for some reason. Why don't you have a toilet paper holder? Oh, you've got combs and stuff like... Look at that, that's all new. A hairbrush. This looks a lot like my hairbrush. Because all hairbrushes, I think, probably look the same. Yes. <laughs> I only recently bought a hairbrush because my hair is getting quite long now. Again, it's quite nice doing this without a camera because you don't know what I look like. Unless you watch another video which happens to have a camera on it as well. But my hair is quite long now. Is this not that long? I'm feeling my hair as I speak. Can I do an ASMR into the camera? Hands going through hair? Doesn't really make a noise. What was I saying? <laughs> Sorry, I just completely lost myself there. <laughs> Maybe it's because I was petting myself. <laughs> my hair is getting quite long, so I bought a hairbrush. That's where I was going with that. And... It's fine. I don't know. I don't know if it's that useful. Like, I, I think my hair, no matter how much I comb it, or brush it, or wash it, or don't wash it, is always a little bit of a scruffy disaster. And I kind of blame that on the patriarchy. <laughs> Bear with me, please. <laughs> what I mean. As somebody who was raised as a boy, I was never taught how to do anything with hair. 
Like, I was never taught how to style hair. Oh, a laundry room. I was never taught how to style hair. I was never taught how to maintain my hair or make it look nice in any way. I was never really taught how to wash it, to be honest. And so I know nothing about that. Same with, you know, in the same way that I don't know anything about makeup or fashion, you know? I was never taught any of that stuff. And so now that I'm sort of passively, slowly attempting to make more of an effort with how I look, that has become an issue. <laughs> because I don't know. <laughs> don't know what to do about it. I'm going to make these, like, nice and crisp and white. I think laundry and bathrooms should look crisp. Crisp with sharp colours. Lots of contrast. Because, again, these are areas that are going to need to be cleaned a lot. I also don't like this tile. What tile was used in here? I might just duplicate this tile. Because I don't like the, uh, the brown tile. It's kind of gross looking. So just, there we go. Replace that. Much nicer. I can keep the brown around the edges, I guess. I might want white ceramic. We'll just, like, keep the same kind of motif going between the rooms. I don't know what I'm doing with my fashion. I, I don't know how to put on makeup, really. I've been experimenting over the past little while. I mean, experimenting is the wrong word. Because I barely use it. But I, I have some makeup. Some basic makeup. And by basic, I mean, I don't know what foundation is. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like... Or concealer. My makeup is exclusively eyeshadow and eyeliner and occasionally some lipstick and stuff like that. It's nothing that actually requires any effort. It's all the easiest shit. But even then, I don't really think I'm ever doing it right. Like, I don't think I'm good at it. Is this not connected? You didn't connect up these lights. I, honestly, I think that's perfectly nice as well. I think this is a done room. What's in here? Just some storage place. Probably, I would probably end up keeping bed sheets in here. If I had this area, I don't have a laundry area. I live in Ireland. And you may think, what a weird non sequitur. It's not. In Ireland, in every house I've ever been to, unless it's a new build. Oh, there's a little piece of wood here. Hang on. In every house I've ever been to, unless it's a new build, the uh, washing machine and dryer would be probably here. They're always in the kitchen. My house has them in the kitchen. My parents' house has them in the kitchen. Every other house has them in the kitchen. In Spain, my parents have just moved there. That It's in the kitchen as well. It might just be a Europe thing more than a, an Ireland thing. And I know that's considered very strange in other countries. Is this not control both? What? Oh, that's the main light. I understand. <laughs> But I, I think that's considered a bit odd in, in other countries, but it is normal here, obviously. <laughs> I get, I, I think it is better to have them in a separate room, like a little cubby. Like when my parents renovated their house before they moved away, they had a little laundry cubby. And I get that more. I don't know why it's in the kitchen. I guess it's just like, you know what, it's probably a convenience thing because it's like plumbed in. What the fuck is this room? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Wait, what is this? <laughs> This is like an indoor shed. What am I looking at? I was caught off guard by how horrible this room is. This is awful. What is this? Why is there a big water heater in here? <laughs> Again, this is another thing I I'm learning about the rest of the world. Apparently it's not normal in other countries for the fuse box to be literally right above the front door. <laughs> like it is in my house. And every- again, every other house I've been in. I'll put this up higher at least so it's out of the fucking way. And then uh probably get rid of these pipes. I don't know what we put in here. Maybe this can be the like little workshop area? There's the, the little work table out here. Yeah, maybe these can go in here. I think that looks less weird, at least, right? It doesn't look as strange as them being outside. Don't know what they were doing with that. Let's put this here? And then another shelf in there as well. This can be like a little workshop area. Like, are you a handy boy? Do you think you're a handy boy but aren't? Go in this room. Seal yourself away with your sins. It can be a... What do the youth call it? A goon cave. It can be a goon cave. You know what? This is a goon cave. <laughs> I've decided. Hang on. Get rid of that. <laughs> Get rid of this shit. You don't need that. <laughs> I, this is a goon cave. <laughs> 
Right, turn, put that here, because it could be above the door. And then, what's the biggest screens I can find? TV Daniel, right there. TV Daniel, two of them. No. Smaller screens, like, uh, above it. That can, like, fit two right here, side by side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. <laughs> this is not gonna be a good time. I mean, if you wander in here by accident, it's not going to be a good time. <laughs> That'll open there, fine. This is going to be all gooning all the time. Is there any sexy posters or <laughs> anything like that? <laughs> the speakers, it's like a sound bar here, so you can get the J-O-I, like, right up in you, right? No, no headphones. Uh, maybe headphones for company. What is the best... Uh, oh, you know what? You know what chair it has to be. It has to be the fucking DX Racer trash, right? We're getting rid of this pipe. We need more room for gooning. The only pipes that are gonna be in here are gooning pipes. Sorry, I've become unhinged. <laughs> the office chairs. Um, there we go. DX Racer. Right there in the middle. Here we'll have... I saw earlier... Uh, tissues. <laughs> right? One second. We want tissues and olive oil. Uh... <laughs> Because I don't think there's lubricant. Like, three boxes of tissue is minimum. Uh, like, so much olive oil. This is the goon lubricant of choice. And also, of course, monster energy drink. Because gooners love monster energy drink. Maybe I should do the rest of this video in a sort of a whispery, whispery ASMR voice just to appeal to this crowd. Are you being good for me? I'm sorry, even as a joke, it makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know, this has probably come up on the on the show before. I, I hate ASMR to the point where it freaks me out genuinely on like a visceral level. It really upsets me. <laughs> I don't like it. You know, I get rid of this. Put in another TV. I think gooners are all about like having lots of screens, right? Like they have laptops open with pornography constantly. Put even at like a smaller TV down here. Goon there, goon there, goon here in the main screen for the main course, and then dessert goon. Also a laptop, just for like, casting more goon. Like, this is where the goon is cast from. I hate this. I hate what I've made. <laughs> it's awful. But it's what's happening. It's what's happening, and we all have to deal with it. <laughs> this is what the world is now, okay? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Maybe, just for when com What's the most expensive headphones on this list? These. We get some bright pink headphones, please. Get get the goon phones going. Maybe hanging them on the wall? Yeah, there's a little peg there, let's say. <laughs> I get some wall hooks here for, like, your trousers. Because you don't want to get them covered in lubricant or semen. So, you get some... You hang up your clothes here. You get into the goon formation. You put on your headphones and start casting your goon. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a couple more speakers and then we'll call it in this room. <laughs> Can I get a drain in the floor? <laughs> Is that too bad? A tile? Obviously it needs to be tiled. There's going to be a lot of fluids in here. But can I get, like, a drain in the floor, like a serial killer's basement? You know what? I'll just headcanon it. There's a drain under this chair. And it's like, all the floors are slightly sloped into this area, so that all of the juices sort of flow down here. And then they can be collected for future use. Goon cave done. Do not enter the goon cave. I think that's the bottom floor done now. Let's just tore the upstairs, see how fucked that is. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that huge... Dick. Speaking of gooning, but look at this huge deck. That's amazing. Children's bedroom, master bedroom, possibly with what is this? Oh my! This is huge. I will probably start like montaging more because there's a lot to get through. Master bathroom, possibly. It's actually, you know what? Kind of a small master bathroom. What is this? This is a living room. Like a family room, I believe people call it. There's only one bedroom? Hang on, what? That that must be a bed a converted bedroom. 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 
No. Bed, bed, ugh, bedroom. <laughs> bedroom. Bathroom. Bedroom. Then there's an ensuite in here. There's another uh, half bathroom down there. Okay. Yeah, sure. And then out here, we'll probably decorate some seating out, out here. There's some sunbeds already. Let's get going with it. Is this all fire damage? I don't really know what fire does to a house other than burn it. I've never been in a house fire. Oh, you know what we should do before we forget? Put in fire alarms. <laughs> Maybe we should have some fire alarms around. Smoke alarm. Fire alarm. Thank you. <laughs> just put that. And I just tucked away right here in the corner. Do they have to be... How do fire alarms work? <laughs> I... Full... Full transparency. I don't think I have a fire alarm in my house. <laughs> So, if there is one, I'm probably just done. Like, I'll probably just die before I know what's happening. Which is fine, you know. <laughs> probably the second best way to go in a fire, right? Because obviously, the best way to go is you don't die. <laughs> you get out in time and everything's fine. The second best way to go is probably you just don't even notice that it's happening and then you're dead. What's the other option? The third option there is you know, but you're trapped and you die in agony. That one's probably the worst. I moved into this house, saw that there was a smoke alarm, fire alarm, whatever. Saw that it was missing its batteries. They had run out or been taken out at some point by the previous owner. And uh, just never bothered replacing it and I think threw it out later. 
like a, a carbon monoxide alarm as well. Those are those are the new hotness that everybody's supposed to have, so you don't, you know, die of carbon monoxide poisoning. Which seems like a bad way to go, because I, from what I know, that's where you start seeing ghosts and stuff. If you've got carbon dioxide poisoning, you think you're haunted and then you die. It's really bad. So I should probably sort this out at some point. Will I? I think we both know the answer to that. <laughs> if it's on the news. Local gamer, Drea, has died in a fire. You'll know why. I'll, I'll keep this... I might even give this bunk beds. Is there like... When I was a kid, everybody wanted either bunk beds, even if they didn't share a room. Everybody either wanted bunk beds or beds that were kind of bunk beds, but the bottom bunk was a desk. And I never had that. I just had normal beds. I think very briefly when I was quite young, we had bunk beds. I don't know. As an adult, bunk beds seemed like a nightmare, to be honest. I wouldn't want them. I think it would be really annoying. Although I can still sort of see the appeal of the desk under bed, to be honest. Think of all the storage. Like, I either, when I'm sleeping, like to be very high or very low. And I don't mean in a druggist kind of way. Like, physically, quite high off the ground. <laughs> or on the ground. No sideways. I mean, either very high off the ground, or very low to the ground, like on a mat or a mattress. I'm quite into that. Let me just change that, make it a bit more nice. Yeah, there we go, it was a bit stained. I need to move this, by the way, it's blocking the door. There we go. We need to close the door and see what we can do. So that should go here. Can that open? Sort of. It, it opens enough that I'm fine with it. <laughs> this carpet is awful. So we'll put that... I don't know, further over that way. Balls need to go. I, I hate them. <laughs> the blocks need to go. Who plays with blocks? Even if you're a child. Surely you're not playing with blocks in the modern world. But like, blocks I associate with, like, I mean, pre-50s. Uh, get rid of all these. Oh, they have sentimental value, those... They're shit when you know they're shit. <laughs> Sentimental value is just means that something is worthless except to one person. <laughs> so, <laughs> they go. Can I fit all of these robots in one line? That'd be lovely. Or three and three is fine as well. I like three and three. That's okay. We can put something else up there. Like a... A, a truck. <laughs> a, little, a little truck boy. <laughs> no, that's awful. I hate the truck. Sell the truck. I like the ducks. The ducks can stay. I like the little plushy lobster that can stay. And keep this desk as well. Sell off the random notepads and uh, we can keep a notepad. And a little desk tidy. I've also never seen a desk tidy in real life. I'm not sure those actually exist. <laughs> no blocks, please. Get some Lego if you're going to play with some sort of block toy. You get Lego, right? Right, can I move this entire thing up? I can. Because I want... Bunk beds. I don't want bunk beds, but I'm gonna get bunk beds in this room. Bunk beds, please. Oh, those are kind of nice, the Ludo. Ugh, I don't know if it's possible to buy posh bunk beds. Yeah, all of these are a bit awful looking, right? I think I think all bunk beds, by definition, look awful. <laughs> like they all look like they were made for infants because they were. I mean, look how small these are. I even put them, like, in the middle, like that, so you have a bit of a gap at either end. Yeah, sure. That just upped the retail value of this house, because now you can say that more people can live here. That's how it works, right? My parents are selling their house right now, but I have no idea how people sell houses, <laughs> or, like, what's important. <laughs> They've been talking about, like, having to dress the house. From what I've gathered, it seems to basically just be make all the beds and stuff and like maybe repaint some stuff <laughs> oh there's too many ducks which duck do I like least because one of these ducks is gone I like blue duck least I think of these I, then it would be this guy don't like how he looks at me don't like his pretentious little head is this a cum jar that's a cloudy fucking jar I think this child had a cum jar if you don't know what a cum jar is I'm so sorry for saying it. <laughs> uh, if you're on Twitch with me, if you've joined me on my journey through Twitch, then you'll be very familiar with the concept of a cum jar. 
because I shouldn't be on the internet. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. A receptacle, a mason jar, full of cum. Now, you may be thinking, well, yeah, obviously, but wait. <laughs> you haven't gotten to the innovative part yet. The innovative part is that you put a My Little Pony figurine into it. <laughs> I don't think it has to be a My Little Pony. I think it can be any figurine. An anime waifu, an action figure, an action man, whatever whatever you're into, I won't judge. I mean, I will I will judge. <laughs> but I think it can be anything. Um, <laughs> and then you'd slowly fill it up while the jar is occupied. And then maybe write some fan fiction about it. It's a very weird thing. I. It's one of those internet phenomenons. That phenomena, phenomenons isn't a word. Now I'm just singing the Muppets. It's one of those internet phenomena that I am not sure actually exists. Like, I don't think that anybody's ever actually done a cum jar. Although, actually, saying that, I've seen a picture of at least two. <laughs> so I know, I know someone has. Somebody's done a cum jar. But I, I don't want to think that it is like a widespread phenomenon. I want I want to relax in the knowledge that it's one freak. Okay? Surely that would be better. This room's done now, by the way. <laughs> I'm keeping the cum jar can go in the cum shelf. There's a little shelf down here. He takes after his gooner father, this person. Okay, I've decided. Head cannoning this. The dad is uh, Christopher Nolan, but he's secretly addicted to gooning. Then... These two beds are occupied by adult children who have not been allowed to leave. <laughs> right? They live here. They're, they are 35 years old. <laughs> no wife. Right? <laughs> the three people live here. Christopher Nolan type eschews technology and says, No, I don't like the technology and uh, I, I, I'm going to refrain from using computers and smartphones. He has a secret goon lair. And then the children... Uh, have become obsessed with the 4chan concept of the goon jar. Not the goon jar, the cum jar. And are experimenting with that. That's that's who lives here. I'm so sorry, but that's who lives here. I've decided. What is this nightmare room? Okay, I'm going to keep the couch. We're going to get rid of everything else. <laughs> Alright, we're going to make this a bedroom. That looks okay, right? That fits in with the theme. We need to give them some storage, but... Uh, <laughs> don't know what to do about that, to be honest. I think the radiator should go here. That kind of... Yeah, that fits. The door doesn't open that way, so that's fine. This is kind of a hideous bedroom. I might change the wallpaper, but... It's okay, maybe. I'll put down a mat and we'll uh, get some storage. Like, what can you? What do you want? <laughs> what what kind of what kind of storage? Some cabinets, some medium storage. That's what we want. Maybe an eider. Will that fit anywhere here? It'll fit back there. But I kind of want the couch. I think the couch is actually really nice. Maybe they don't need much storage in here. I don't know. What's this nightstand? This is huge, right? That's a huge nightstand. You know, that might be okay. Maybe they don't need much clothes in here. And, and a stand can go here as well. Like a, a little table or a shelf or something. Mm, yeah, that might be okay. <laughs> that might be fine. <laughs> if I put this dresser here, does that interrupt the view of the couch? No. No, it doesn't. It's actually perfectly fine.
I think that's pretty good. I think that's plenty of storage. We've got seating. I actually think this is a really nice bedroom. Like, I would like this bedroom. Like, I've said on a previous episode, all of my clothes could easily fit into this shelf. Because <laughs> I have very little clothes. Eh, these are a bit shallow, actually. These shelves. This shelf, though, easily could fit. Like, this is, what, five shelves in it? Easily all my clothes could fit in here. So then this is just extras. Like, books and stuff. Maybe more books up here. You've got a lamp. You've got a seat. What more could you want? This is actually a perfect bedroom. This is, like, one of my ideal bedrooms. I hate the wallpaper, but we're going to leave it. <laughs> Couldn't be bothered changing it. There's only a little bit left. This feels shorter than some of the others. I guess because we haven't actually had to renovate anything. It's just, like... I mean, it said in the opening, in the little blurb, it was like, only needs a small renovation because of a fire. <laughs> oh, I hate these things. I hate this entire bathroom, to be honest. Like, I'm getting instantly, you know what? Get rid of that. Don't want it. Awful. Awful nightmare. Sell that. If this is going to be an expensive house, it needs to have, like, a nice bathroom. Right? At least one, like, nice shower, at least. Like, this is awful. This is absolutely horrible. <laughs> I hate this. Like, here, that's fine. Right? We can have that there, that there. I, I might even reverse this. Then we can have these in the middle. Like, we'll, we'll renovate this as we go. Okay, it's just... Hang on. Hang, hang on. Hang the fuck on for a second. Let me move this light switch. Relatively central. In fact, we, we need them to be, like, perfectly central. <laughs> Not just relatively. <laughs> That central? I think that's central. Then these under it. Like that. Is that okay? Is that lined up alright? I don't know if that's lined up perfectly or not, to be honest. Uh, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Sell this toothbrush. I'm not giving them a tooth, a free toothbrush when they move in. It's just deranged, honestly. It's weird that you would even ask. Okay, fine. Let me move that up one more. Okay, I think that's nicer than it was already. All right, we can sell the duck. We can sell these. We can sell this. Oh, these carpets are awful. Awful carpets. This uh, toilet brush can go there. That's fine. Uh, this radiator should go here on this wall. Shouldn't be there. Okay. Okay. Things are significantly nicer looking now. Now we just need, like, a nice shower. Okay, the tile, whatever, that's fine. Tile is okay. Not not a huge fan of this white stripe going around. But, um, the tile is, is fine. Wait, is this too much? The lights here? Might be a bit much. Like having two twin lights above these mirrors? I mean, it's fine. It's just weird, right? <laughs> Look at that. That's so glaringly white. My god. Jesus. <laughs> okay, that's that's a bit better. There we go. That's that is that is nicer. That's, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I think the same cabinets as downstairs actually would be nice. You know, I'm gonna go down here. We'll match the bathroom. Right? Copy this, because I like this style. There we go. Oh, that's so much nicer. What the hell were they doing? This is so much nicer. Perfect. I'm I'm so happy. So I'm, I couldn't be happier with this this room right now. It looks lovely. Uh, I will change this to be like more quilted fabric or striped. Striped is better. There we go. Oh, so nice. So nice now. Who wouldn't want to piss here? It's like a dream piss scenario. Now, last thing here. Shower. Fuck the bath. No baths. Baths are evil, and genuinely, I hate them. I mean, the nicest shower is one of these, right? The Balenos. But would that fit here? It will! You know what? Give them a really nice shower, then. Oh, that's per that's that's perfect! That's so good! Sorry, but like, it is! Look how great that is! Perfect! Fits perfectly symmetrically. Toilet is perfect there. This is a wonderful bathroom now. I've 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 immeasurably improved this. I'll give them a little shelf as well. Oh, 
I barely changed, but actually, I, I changed a little bit. I really like this sink setup. It's growing on me already, actually. <laughs> I like it quite a bit. I really like this. I'm going to give them, like, you know, some some cups to store their, their toothbrushes in. But, uh, you know what? Maybe I will decorate them a bit. Like, maybe they can have a, have a hairbrush, for instance. And a comb. Like a nice comb. Right? Is that so what people like in a house? A comb. And then, oh, what else do they want? What else do you want from me? A laundry basket would be nice, actually. Might give them a laundry... Uh, that can be in the bedroom. You don't put a laundry basket in the bathroom, do you? You might. I don't know what, what, you, do, what you do. You listening to this. I don't know what the fuck you do. <laughs> Sorry. If I did move into a place and they gave me, like, a pallet of free toilet paper, I'd be like, oh, that's actually really nice. Because, you know, it's something you might forget. When you're uh when you're moving in, it's like ah oh, fuck I forgot the toilet paper. Or oh, maybe they should have a bidet. Should they have a bidet? It's very fancy. It's a fancy thing to have. Like they have a bidet now. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Look how nice. Maybe I should. I you know what I'm gonna go all out on this. I'm gonna give them another shelf, like another shelf like right here above this. Just for anything they might need. This is the nicest one I've done. Uh, you know what? They need one more thing. One last thing. They need a towel rack for their little towels. Because, you know, they will need to, like, dry off and stuff. Right? <laughs> so there we go. Towel rack. Perfect stuff. Amazing. I'm so happy. Oh, they can store towels in here, but you do need to hang up towels. Bedroom one, which... Honestly, basically just needs to be cleaned up. This looks nice. Maybe replace this furniture if it's a bit ratty. We've got, this is untouched as well. We've got bathroom two. And you've got... Is that it? The bathroom two and bedroom? Is that is that it? Are we done after that? I guess I could decorate around a bit more as a finale. As a little, little finishing touch. Put on some more alarms. Little decorations on the, the shelves and stuff. But... Really, we're nearly done here. I'm going to start with this bathroom and work backwards. So, oh god, we need to clean first.
I think this is just done. I think I just did it very quickly. It's quite nice. I, I, I mean, look, it's very purple and very pink. I don't really like the colors, but you know, I like this little setup. It's a bit crowded, I suppose, but it's it's nice. It's fine. Maybe this shelf is a bit much. Do I want to sell this shelf? What does it look like without it? Eh, I don't know. I actually forgot to tile this. <laughs> Hang on. Give me a second. There we go. Now we're done. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. I don't mind it. I, I like the shower. Again, shower is the same. I like this little tile area here. It's a nice bathroom. It's good enough, at least. It's not, even if it's not technically the nicest thing in the world, it's good enough. Next room is this one. It's not really much to do in here. It's really just cleaning up. Like, this is what... Is this what you call a walk-in closet? This is what people are referring to when they say that. Like, is this where you get dressed in the morning? If you're a pasho. If you're a pasho who, like, hunts poor people for sport, do you get dressed in here? I don't know. Because <laughs> you have, like, an ottoman, right? It's like, I, I use this to put my foot up so my servant can dress me. And I, I'd like a mat as well. Again, just something plush. Something plushy for here would be good. Because you're, you're going to be getting your, your photos all trampling around in here. I hate what I say. <laughs> but like, maybe like a nice... Just something simple like this. I think that's good. And there's a light fitting. I mean, yeah, this, this this is literally all that needs to be done in here. Is just clean it up a bit. Done. I think this is the last room then. Very quick for such a big house. I was expecting this to be a nightmare. I mean, I say that. How long have I been recording? Let's take bets. I'm going to say... Two hours. Two hours and five minutes. Oh, not bad. Good for me. I can keep track of time. <laughs> Yay. Okay, let's clean this up. House flipper. I don't know. My, I don't talk about my editing process much because it's boring. But like for, for the house flipper videos, I'd say I can usually cut about... 30% of the time off. You know, maybe eh, 25 to 30% at least. So this will probably be like an hour and a half long, if I had to guess. Anything else to clean? Can I uh, salvage these uh, beds? No, I can't. So I will need to sell the bed. That's fine. Sell the bed. Sell the nightstands. We will be decorating from scratch. That's something. Oh, I, I've never figured out where these live in the menu. But I do like them, the little skirting boards. Don't accidentally sell them, please. <laughs> I will sell all of these. This can stay. This looks nice. That can probably leave. Looks like everything is that warbler thing. Ah, that needs to go as well, doesn't it? Annoyingly. What is this first so I can actually get it back? Because I've never seen this before. Desk Novara. I don't really like the wallpaper, I have to say. I, I don't even know if it's the pattern. I think it's mainly the the colors, I think, are a bit... Eh. Maybe make this like a dark blue or a purple. Like that. And then the background color. What would go well with that? Maybe even like a pink. I guess like a magenta kind of thing. So can I make this more purple? Can. 
Maybe like that. And then make the size a bit bigger. I think that'd be nicer. What I've picked out. Oh, it's so much nicer. That's like a hundred times nicer, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't really like wallpaper in general, but if I'm gonna have wallpaper, this is nicer. So annoying. I knew it was going to happen as well. Give me another roll. That's not a big deal, obviously. It takes five seconds, but it's so... Oh, it's like being stabbed in the chest. Perfect. I think that's right, isn't it? It's all good. Maybe another mesh, just because I'm going carpet happy. That could be a euphemism for something else. I'm going carpet happy in here, so I may as well add another mesh, like a big one, like right here. Blue, purple, you know what, that's actually kind of nice with this room. That's pretty good. It has access to, oh god, maybe we should open these outwards. <laughs> it has access to, to outside. I think that's basically everything done. Hang on, there's another area out here with, um... A little seating area, like a little gazebo. Is that what you call it? A gazebo? This out here somewhere. There we go. Some swings is lovely. I'd love some swings in real life. I would I would kill for a swing, I think. <laughs> here. Although this is more of a porch swing, right? So maybe it should go around here. And then pick a nick tables. I might make them a bit more evened up. Pizza oven and a gazebo, which is looks fine, right? This doesn't need to be cleaned or anything. This is just a lovely little house area. Like this is really nice. What the hell is this? <laughs> is this a a, a merry-go-round thing? It is. Oh, this would make me so sick, and I'd go on it so often. Right. I think what I also want to do is lay some new floor here because this is gross. I don't like it. I think this should all be one level. So I'm going to do that. That's that's like the last... And maybe the only like building thing I do, right? Because uh, other than that, it looks all right. I think it's all nice. But I'm going to add some extra foundations here.
I think the last things I will do then are maybe put up some outdoor lighting here and some more benches, rearrange some of this stuff. I think I'll leave the plants as they are, the decorations as they are. I think that's all nice. And maybe decorate a little bit of the house. And then I... That's still spinning, by the way. This is ghosts. <laughs> I think that just spins forever. Cool. And then I will come back at the end of it and do a little walkthrough, like usual. You know the drill by now.
And we're done. I think we're done, at least. I think I've done everything I, I need to do. There wasn't actually that much to do, really. Oh, another big stretch. Oh, I'm still wrapped in the blanket, if you were wondering. Let's do a little tour. First, we'll do the outside. We've got nice lights. It turns out they already had lights in a lot of this. So, lights, seating, nice little area to just sit and look out past the many beams in your house for some reason. Maybe I'll shift this one over a little bit. Yeah, that looks a bit... maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that looks a bit better. We can watch out over the beams into the woods. Over here, we've got a little bike stand for your little bikes. We've got some storage here if you need any storage. I don't know why you would. And a lovely window into the Wenk Cave. We've got a little seating area. All the leisure area that we've looked at before. I mean, this is beautiful. A little outdoor dining. I, I replaced the seats and changed the table a bit because I thought it looked bad. So we've got nice outdoor dining. More seating, more lighting. I mean, it's all what you'd expect. Nice flower bed. Good stuff. Then we can go upstairs. I'm going to stop this turning. This is giving me a headache looking at it. <laughs> we've got a little barbecue area. Barbecue. We've got seating. Over here we've got sun loungers. More outdoor lighting. I mean, it's simple, but like... It looks nice, to be honest. It looks, looks good. Lots of easy access to light switches and stuff like that. And then I guess we'll enter through the front door and show off the inside. You step in. You wipe your little photos. You put your... What do you put in here? An umbrella? You put your damp umbrella in there. You hang up your coat and your little shoes. Then you say, hmm, what's this? Wank cavern. We don't go into that room. <laughs> then you turn left. You're in the main foyer. Oh, it's lovely. Like, this we basically didn't touch, and it, it looks lovely because of that. <laughs> I don't think I could have made it nicer than this. So, lovely. Nice little area to sit. Put your little foots up. Have your adult children sit on these ottomans because they're not allowed on the couch. They know why. In here you've got the kitchen. Lovely kitchen. We'd redid the tile in here. We left the ivy. Everything is pretty much untouched. We just redesigned the cabinets and cleaned up a bit, really. Pantry with a little bin. Fully stocked pantry. I really like the plants in here. I think the plants are really, really amazing in here. I love the hanging plants. Other than that, lovely little dining room. Put some uh, plates and cups and glasses and stuff in here in case you need them. If you're entertaining and they're like, I say, Jedediah, where's my fucking wine? Then you can go, oh yes, well, here you go. Have your wine glass and I'll go to the pantry. And here you've got the office. Nice office. I, I mean, it's nicer than it was, at least. You have to admit that. <laughs> it's a nice office. Little desk tidies, little organizers. I put some files and file cabinet stuff around here, just in case he needs them. He's got a notebook, because that's where he does all of his work. No computrons needed. The tiniest little bathroom in the world, but actually, I quite like it. I, I'm into this bathroom. I think it's nice. The more I go in here, the more I'm like, this is actually perfect. This is the perfect size for a bathroom. You don't need much in the way of bathroom size. Unless, if if it's like this 0.5 bathroom thing where it's just a toilet. In here you've got a place to do your little laundry for your filthy clothes when you get them messy during bathroom times. Or in the wank cavern. Upstairs. Nearly done already. Upstairs. We've got the children's bedroom. I say children. I will remind you. They are 35. 35 year olds go there. They can fight over the desk. Whatever. They can play with their <laughs> little toys and put all their clothes in here. The maid dresses them. They don't know what the fuck is in here. They've never opened these cabinets. <laughs> then we've got the master bedroom, I think. Yeah, this is the master bedroom. Is it? This is where daddy lives. This is where daddy lives when he's not in the wank cavern or writing in his office. He curmudgeonly makes his way up here and goes, Leave me the fuck alone stays in here for most of the day he's got a little dressing area this is where the maid comes and dresses daddy and then this is where daddy gets clean <laughs> he gets washed down like a feral pig and then uh, does his business and then comes out perfect all of his clothes are in here got so much storage actually now that I realize that there's that's attached I forgot while I was putting on the cabinets 
Where else is there to go? Uh, you've got the master bathroom, which I think is lovely. I would kill, and I mean that. Normally I'm being hyperbolic. I think I would kill a person to get this bathroom. My bathroom is so small and so shit and so unpleasant to look at or be in. I would kill somebody to have a bathroom this nice. Wonderful stuff. And then I think the last room is in here. The nicest bedroom. This might be where, I don't know, daddy's special friends stay during the special dining parties that the children aren't allowed to go to. But they peek anyway with their little jar in their hands. Peek through the door. What are they doing? Why are they wearing those masks? So this is where his friends stay. And then we have access out onto the balcony again. And I think that's it. I think that's the house. This is one of the nicest houses I've done in this game. And I basically didn't do anything, which is why it's one of the nicest houses. It really was just like a repaint job. I would be shocked if uh, the renovation cost is over like... 50 grand here like it really was not a lot of money i say that 50 grand is a staggering amount of money <laughs> so let's see how much we can sell it for it was 90 grand what did i do 90 grand to renovate this are you joking right so 565 honestly 565 euro for this house is a steal i guess it is in the middle of the woods but even so this is a huge house it's lovely put up for auction please eight eight hundred and sixty grand basically for this plus 300 grand i'm perfectly happy with that that's a lot of money and i did not do that much to it you have been swindled louis williams louis williams you have this is a bad deal for you and well i guess you're Either your daddy wanks a lot, or <laughs> Jesus Christ. Either your daddy goon cave, or uh, you're moving in with daddy goon cave, and in which case I would clean the wank cavern really thoroughly, and don't look in that jar cupboard. Four point six million, basically, like three hundred thousand profit. I, that's more than fair. I'm very happy with that one. Thank you for watching, everybody. I don't know how long this one will be. Probably too long, to be honest. But <laughs> thanks for watching anyway. I felt like this one was even ramblier than usual. I feel like I did not finish a single thought in that entire. How long have I been recording now? <laughs> About three hours. <laughs> Took me about three hours to do that. I don't think I finished a thought. <laughs> I think I was just scattered as hell. But it was fun regardless, because this game is very fun. I might start looking into doing other games like this, to be honest, because I'm coming to the end of House Flipper, my House Flipper adventure. So I need to look into games that are similar. Power Washing Simulator is similar, but I don't really like it as much. I don't like not having that kind of creative aspect. I don't know, I'll look into it. Maybe I'll just redo some of the houses I didn't record. Who knows what will happen, but I just like playing this. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe and like, you know, the YouTuber shtick that you do at the end. Like and subscribe, gamers, and uh, you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter. God, I only tweet going live messages at this point, but you can follow me there anyway. Uh, my Discord should be in the description. I, I have a Discord that I really like. That's where I spend most of my time online now is on the Discord. Other than that, nothing really. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!